hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show you that how you can make the hexagonal gradient logo so as you can see in my screen so i have some couple of logo which is a hexagonal logo and which has some gradient so now i'm going to show you that how you can make it okay firstly i am taking a new document then i am taking the polygonal tool okay then i'm taking a polygonal tool uh, by holding shift so i'm gonna remove the stroke then i'm gonna give it a fill color okay for example i'm gonna give this color okay okay i'm gonna make it bigger by holding the shift button okay now i'm gonna copy Control C then Control F. Control C means copy, Control F means forward fist. Then Shift Alter. Hold Shift and Alter then make it smaller. Okay. Now give it a different fill color. Okay. I'm gonna make it red. Okay. So so this is it. So I'm gonna select the both hexagon. Now I'm gonna rotate this by holding Shift. Okay. So now I am going to take a pen tool. Okay. Taking pen tool, I'm gonna select here. Then I'm gonna draw a line here. So I can I, I need to zoom it by control plus. Okay, I'm gonna make it outline by control Y. Okay. So you have to make sure that it has to be straight okay then skip button then move to then again select the pen tool okay then select here okay then select firstly here then not this one okay zoom it out then select the pen tool okay then holding shift button then draw a line here okay and again escape then again move tool then again select the pen tool okay then select here okay then zoom it in so this is it no this is not straight okay so then again escape then zoom it in okay it is not a straight at all so okay now this is a straight okay now escape button then again okay now again taking the pen tool then this one okay zoom it in by control plus okay okay now down and down escape now again move tool now again taking the pen tool then shift okay then escape then then again taking the pen tool then select here then zoom it in okay okay so my all line has been created successfully i'm gonna click on control y so i have been removed the outline okay so as you can see that i didn't use any stroke in the line so i'm gonna make it none and then i'm gonna make it a stroke white okay so sorry I have to deselect the all option okay now firstly select whole option 
then shift then shift okay now i'm gonna make it no color then stroke is white okay so now as you can see the draw line has some strokes so now select the whole option then you have to open the pathfinder option from here so where is the pathfinder option okay this is it this is pathfinder then click on divide okay then click on the right button of the option then ungroup okay so now as you can see i'm gonna delete this option as you can see all the options are separate now so this is it so i'm gonna now i'm gonna give the gradient color so so as you can see there are some option is showing here i'm gonna delete this okay so there is no stroke okay so now i'm gonna make a gradient so for making a gradient so all you need to do take a rectangle shape then take a grid this is the gradient tool okay so so take a gradient here so i'm gonna take this one okay then this option is i'm gonna keep not this one not this one okay so let's use this gradient okay firstly this one then select the eye dropper tool so this is eye dropper tool then select the color okay then this one then again select the eye dropper tool okay then this one and again select the eye dropper tool then this one then select the eye dropper tool then again select this one and select the eye dropper tool and select this one and control i okay okay and this one so as you can see i have created a gradient color of this logo so if i make it smaller so if i make a copy of this one okay i'm gonna create another gradient color okay another gradient logo so for example i'm gonna give this color here and give this color here okay so this is it okay, if i make it bigger for example firstly select this option okay then this option then this option okay then this option then this option then this part okay as you can see the gradient has been added successfully in the logo so this is how you can make a gradient logo a gradient hexagonal logo in adobe illustrator so i hope this video will help you a lot to create logo so thank you guys thanks for watching